How's it going there, folks? I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs, and I, I don't know if it's because of the beard, but a lot of you think that I'm like 30 years old. I'm not. I'm 22, recently 22, and so I'm a third-year student at the University of Utah. Now, as a college student, I struggle, like many of you, uh, with the simple fact that focusing during class is hard. 70 minute classes get really, really long and I let myself veer away from my notes every once in a while to check Twitter, Facebook, iMessage, what have you. And I notice that pretty much every other computer in class is doing the same thing. It's problematic because I'm a good student, but in order to get good grades, I spend a lot of time outside of class reading the textbook, reading through the lectures that were given in class. And I probably wouldn't have to spend as much time doing that if I just listened to the lecture that I was in anyway. Anyways, uh, we're paying to be there, we're there anyway, so you might as well just listen. But since these applications and these websites are so distracting, we lose a lot of content that we otherwise might not. And that's the reason computers are double-edged swords. They're great for taking notes, for being productive, but they're also really, really harmful if you let yourself get distracted in class. And so I found an application for Mac called Focus. It's 20 bucks, it was pretty expensive, honestly, for what it does, but I don't regret the purchase at all, and I'm recommending it to you today because it's really saved my productivity. I think I've saved hours worth of work, and as a result, hundreds of dollars worth of my time because of the fact that I just focused in class, I took better notes, I wasn't distracted by the outside world, and that's exactly what Focus does. It blocks out the outside world and really forces you to focus on what you're supposed to be doing in class. So I wanna show you this app right now so you can get a better idea if it's something for you because it has helped me a lot. Let's get started. All right, so let's say I'm sitting in class, I have my Twitter client open and my music streaming service open. Those probably aren't apps that are going to help me focus. They'll be a distraction. So when this application, Focus for Mac, is enabled, it quits any foreground applications that are distracting and blocks any websites. If I try to reopen them, let's say I try to reopen Tweetbot, I'm given the notification that it's blocked because it is a distracting app. The same goes for websites. If I try to go to youtube.com, it is blocked. I'm given an inspirational quote telling me that I'm not able to visit that website. If I try Facebook, it's blocked as well. Now there is a very, very long list of applications, excuse me, websites by default that are typically used for distraction purposes. Buzzfeed, uh, Gawker, what have you, those are blocked by default. Now, websites that you do use for educational purposes or ones that are designed to actually help you in your studies are left on a whitelist. They're not blocked. And the cool thing about this application is every website is customizable. So for example, Techno Buffalo, which I visit often, is not by default on the blacklist, and so I've added it. And there are other applications like, excuse me, websites like uh, the New York Times that I may use for educational purposes that is blocked by default, so I can whitelist certain websites as well. Now, most of the action, really all of the action, happens in this menu bar applet. Now, I can toggle the focus and unfocus modes, and then if I'm a fan of the Pomodoro method where I study for spurts of 15 or 25 minutes, I can enable that from here. I start the 15-minute timer. For 15 minutes, all of these apps that are distracting and websites that are distracting are blocked, and after the 15 minutes expired, I can continue doing it in whatever, really whatever I want on all of the websites that I'm used to using for distracting purposes. Now, what you can also do is enter the Preferences menu, which has a myriad of interesting settings. We'll come back to this page, but you can see here that there are all of the websites that are blocked by default. You can add and remove websites from the blacklist and the whitelist. And there is a very long list of populated websites by default that are pretty much known to be distracting. And so uh, most of the websites I tried and most of the websites I visited, even weird, uh, obscure tech ones like Ars Technica, blocked by default. So that's really, really nice. And then there is an Applications tab that allows you by default to select what applications will be blocked while the application is running. Now these are the quotes that are customizable. You can uh, take some of these inspiring ones and replace them with rude ones telling yourself to get back to work. There's also a schedule which is really, really handy. So this is when I have class. I don't want to have to enable focus every time I'm in class and sometimes because I don't want to really listen to the lecture, I won't enable it. But this enables it by auto, uh, excuse me, automatically and so I can't really get distracted. So the minute I walk into class, the minute I open my laptop and the lecture begins, I'm not able to do anything I normally would. And then once class ends, I have these little windows that I've left open that I can use to check Twitter or Facebook or whatever for the 20 minutes in between classes. Now there's also scripting. Uh, you can uh, control focus from the terminal, which is pretty cool. And if you use applications like Alfred, uh, you can toggle focus from uh, Alfred as well, which is really pretty neat. So that's what the scripting tab is. Lastly, but certainly not least, and the, the reason that 
this application to me is so great is hardcore mode. So what hardcore mode does is it enforces timers and schedules to a T, you cannot disable them. So for example, let's say I've enabled hardcore mode and let's say I've decided to focus for 15 minutes. Well, for 15 minutes, I am not able to disable the application like I was before. You can't quit it. Even if you reboot your computer, it'll start at login and it will continue with that timer. So it is basically impossible and it's not really impossible. I found a way to disable it pretty easily, but it's difficult enough and it's time consuming enough that every time I go to disable this application, I have to ask myself, well, is it really worth it? Just sit and finish the lecture. It's not that much longer. And so, and to be honest, it, I found it because I'm a nerd and I know how to use terminal, but most most people will not be able to disable that uh, by default. So it's really, really great for 15 minutes now. I will not be able to use any of these applications. I can't quit the app. I can't restart my computer and expect it not to work. I'm just stuck for 15 minutes. And so I have hardcore mode enabled every time I go into my lectures. So for 50, excuse me, 70 minutes, I'm required to listen, to take notes, and I can't get distracted. And it really, really has helped my productivity. I really kind of hate this app deep inside my soul because it prevents me from uh, entertaining myself during class, but it has helped me significantly. My notes are of higher quality. I feel like I know the material after class much better. And the price point of $20, to be honest, is a little bit steep. I did buy it just because I found myself improving so much. Um, there are free alternatives out on the market, but they don't really do a good job and they don't offer this hardcore mode, which makes it basically impossible to disable. And so focus, uh, if you struggle focusing in school, in class, or even uh, at work while you're coding, what have you, get focused, get the app focused, and it should solve a lot of your problems like it solved mine. And I, I really, really like it. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment if you liked this video. And as always, stay snazzy.